base, Coach Wolf, with a statement? Uh, Minnesota had a great game plan. Um, they executed it to the T. Uh, came down to, I mean, we had 22 assists on only nine turnovers. Uh, I thought that was solid. Uh, but we didn't play much defense today. Um, and this is how we start out in the beginning of the year. You don't play defense, you don't win. And we gave up a lot of points. And they just destroyed us in transition defense and killed us in the post. Ashley, just the, the transition defense in particular, if you guys knew that they were going to try and run on you, what, what sort of broke down for you in trying to slow them down a little bit? Um, definitely in the first half, we were, we were just not jogging. I mean, running back, we were jogging back. And in the second half, we made an adjustment. Coach made an adjustment to send the ones and twos back. And um, I, I can't even We were just being lazy on defense. Would the, you know, they scored 48 points in the, in, the, in the paint, but when you look at your entire defense from a half-court perspective, do you feel like that was okay, but the transition defense really kind of broke your back a little bit? Um, no, that's not okay. okay. <laughs> um, definitely, we knew that their posts were key, and Lisa going out with their nose and fouls and stuff like that, that's, it's hard, because you try to help on the help side. If anybody gets beat, it's hard to rotate over, and it was just bad defense. We broke down and we gave up a lot of points to their two big players. Just how, how much of a handful is 32 for them trying to slow her down and, and everything that she can do? Yeah, we knew we were undersized, so we were trying to play the lob, and then when we played the lob, they had another post player that could obviously score, so it was hard working, trying to guard one and then trying to guard the other, so we just broke down defensively in the post. So how, how, how efficient are they when they can play through Zowie B and then get those other players involved to, to where they can drive and penetrate and get those big points? They're very efficient. Like I said, um, help side, it was hard to be there sometimes. And if anybody penetrated, if you helped over, they can just lob it up to her. So cover downs, I feel like in every aspect of defense, we broke down, even going all the way to rebounding. So, and then getting back on defense, as well, so in every aspect we kind of broke down. Ashley, against their zone, did you feel like there were times where you found openings as a team and then times where you just you know, sort of went through droughts where you, you couldn't score against it? Yeah, definitely with ball movement there was a couple openings. We just got knocked down the shots and uh, they made an adjustment. It was more of a compact zone. They wanted us to shoot outside more instead of getting into the mid post and going baseline with it. So. Um, I think that definitely uh, worked in their favor. Was this something, Coach, from the beginning you saw defensively that just wasn't working for you guys? You yeah, did? I saw that from the tip we didn't have energy. We weren't we weren't going after it. I mean, they outplayed us and out-hustled us. They were the better team today, but I noticed the first four minutes what was going to happen. Just the, the, the transition, I mean, it, it, she mentioned your adjustment. Were you just trying anything to, to get them back and, and try to slow them down a little? Well, when a shot goes up, your ones and twos should be behind half court, so you should never get beat. And that wasn't happening in the second half. So um, whether that's um, lack of effort, but we I mean, obviously, if we if we don't change that, everyone in the Big Ten, there are eight teams that run better than Minnesota. So it's a choice, it's a student athlete choice right now. Eight other teams run a lot faster, a lot harder than Minnesota. So, you know, they want to get back, we're going to be a great team. If they want to get back, that's what it is. You said the other day you were kind of fearful if they did play inside, if they did go to mm -hmm. Zowie B. And that, is that kind of what they did? They just kind of got her going early and everybody else kind of fed off her? Oh, yeah. Um, they got it down low. We played zone, but we were just allowing them to get stand on the block. Uh, that's not how we practice for two days. Um, you know, they play through her, and then 23, you know, we're playing for the drive, but we, in practice, we body up a lot sooner and not let her get deep. So, um, but it was everybody just playing off of one another. When she gets the ball inside, she's such a great passer. She makes good decisions. Um, you know, I mean, she's a low to get out, but, you know, we, we did from the get-go. I mean, we didn't play defense. So with, with Rachel out there, you sort of know where you need to funnel your defense toward, right? I mean, mm -hmm. without her, they, they seem to have still a, a lot of weapons, right? I mean, it, was that sort of hard to, to cover all the bases? Well, we said we'd, if we're going to let 32 score, we got to take 
take away 23 and we need to take away others. Well, that didn't happen either, you know. I mean, how we were playing, no matter if we're double teaming, no matter if we're playing zone, then you're like, okay, if 32 is going to get our points, then we got to keep 23 off, can't let 33 score, and they still did. So, I mean, you got to pick your poison like they have to pick our poison with our team. And we had good looks in the zone and mid-wide post. I mean, we, we our offense was fine. It was our defense. Our defense stems our transition offense, and we didn't get many. Whitney, the last three minutes of the first half, you guys had like a five-point, five, six-point five, six lead and let them get it back before halftime. Was that a little bit deflating going into the locker room? Because you probably at that point felt like you had played well enough to have a lead. Yeah, definitely. Anytime the momentum changes uh, off turnovers, off fast breaks, off of if somebody knocks down just a big shot, it obviously changes things. But uh, I feel like we went into the locker room and we talked about it and we had a solid game plan for the second half. We just didn't really execute it. Thanks a lot, guys.